Hey guys, I am here with Blair Brown. Blair is the owner of Visionary Advantages, and she specializes in being a one-stop shop for branding and marketing. And we're here to talk about three simple tips for content creation, and specifically, when to DIY and when to hire professionally. So Blair, take it away. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Excited to be here. Um, yeah, content creation, I think, is everybody's biggest headache. Wouldn't you think? Is that your experience with working with your clients? Definitely. It's one of those things that people just are like, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah, it's like they've thrown in the towel already, but then they're like, maybe you know something we're here to ask. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I get it. Content creation is so, it can be challenging if you're overwhelmed with running your business, like doing all the, the hats. The last thing you want to do is to come up with a reel for Instagram. Let's just face it. Like you don't want to do that. Um, and so what I always tell people is you can make it simple. Uh, think about what you're already great at. You don't have to recreate the wheel. What are you awesome at? Or what content do you already have on hand? So look into the archives, number one, of what you already have and see if you can repurpose it. What I recommend doing is batching. So what with batching, what you do is you take one long form piece of content. So let's say it's an email that you're sending out to your audience or a blog post that you already have on your website. So take something that's long form and then you can slice and dice it and make it into multiple pieces of content. So that way, again, don't recreate the wheel. You don't have to make a million pieces of unique content if you already have one awesome piece that you believe in. And then you are creating original content by slicing it up and highlighting different areas that are important on the content for your audience. So you can think, you know, was there just a positive quote in there? Maybe that has something to do with your branding. Maybe there's a step that they should take when they're doing whatever you're advising them to do, you know, um, an educational point, I guess you'd say. Um, or maybe it's just you sent out a graphic on that same email that you're kind of slicing and dicing up and you want to just say something about that graphic. That alone can also be a piece of content. So once you have those set up into different concepts, you know, things that you've pulled, you can use different creative to uh, creation tools online where you make one post, you click a button, and then it will resize it to be different sizes for like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, for example. So that's going to be a way easier way to, to create content through batching than to just doing, you know, pulling one idea out of your head and then making one post. And then you're like, oh, now I have to make another. Don't do that. Make it easy. So when do you think it's best to DIY or hire professionally? So I'd say whenever your business is just starting out, I would definitely DIY it. It's you know, if you're already in the trenches doing everything else, right? Yes. But you're still not big enough to maybe put money back in and reinvesting it in social media. I think, you know, when you're bootstrapping your business, you do have to be smart where you spend money. And so I say do it as long as you can. It's, you know, don't stress yourself over it. If you're doing one post a week or a, a few a month, you're just keeping it something fresh. I wouldn't stress myself out over it if I were you and you're just starting out. I would just do that to have some sort of consistent flow. But when you get to the point where you're just totally crushing it at your business and you're busy working on the client's work, if that's how you're set up um, or whatever that might look like, if you're too busy doing those kind of operations and you've completely neglected social media, that is when I would look at investing in social media help because then you're able to because you're crushing it with everything else. <laughs> that is fair. No, I definitely think it's important, like just doing, even if it's once a week, just being consistent about it, like every Monday morning or whatever it is yeah. that you choose. And then it's done. You don't think about it again until. Yeah. And you can Monday. schedule it. You can yeah. schedule it all out too. So let's say you, you take that one day a week or one day a month even, and you look at all the pieces of content that you could potentially play with. There are scheduling tools where you can just set it and forget it and it'll schedule itself. So that way you have that consistency going and you don't have to manually do it every time. So that's yep. very important too. Awesome. Well, if anyone wants to learn more and get in touch with you, how can they do that? Just, you can visit me at visionaryadvantages.com. Um, we have all the links and whatnot there. Um, it's probably the best way. Or if you're on Instagram because you love social media so much, um, I'm, hey, it's Blair Brown. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much.